From the JES First Warning Weather Center, here's Chief Meteorologist Patrick Rocky. Boy, kind of a gloomy Thursday out there. Not a lot of wet weather during the daytime hours, but that could change later tonight with a chance for a few showers and storms late in the evening and into the overnight hours, and a couple of those could be strong to severe. As we head overnight, the winds are going to start to pick up, and those winds are going to be from the south to warm us up. Highs near 80 for some of us for tomorrow. Then a big drop on the way as we head into the weekend. Yep, we're talking about a 25 to 30 degree drop. Then as we head uh, do, oh. from the JES First Warning Weather Center, here's Chief Meteorologist Patrick Rocky. Boy, it's been kind of a gloomy day for us. Cool with lots of clouds around. Well, that, that changes as we head into your Friday. It's going to be warm and windy with high temperatures near the 80 degree mark. Then a big drop on the way. As a matter of fact, a couple of big drops on the way. It's going to get much cooler, about 25 to 30 degrees cooler on Saturday. And then again on Monday, we're going to have a big drop in temperatures. We will see some wet weather this weekend. A few thunderstorms are possible late Saturday, and those likely will linger into early on Sunday. So here's our seven day forecast. There's the winds for tomorrow. Southwest winds 15 to 25 plus miles per hour. That will help warm us up into the upper 70s, some low 80s around. And then look at the big drop on the way for your Saturday. Highs in the lower 60s. Some late day or evening showers and thunderstorms around for your Saturday. Some wet weather lingers into early on Sunday, but really most of the weekend right now is looking dry. It looks like we're going to be dry on Monday and Tuesday before the rain returns Wednesday and Thursday of next week. As a look at our first morning seven day forecast, our next updates come on air at 7, 10, and 11. We hope to see you then.